girls, it's Miss Jenny. How are you today? So I stopped by and do another story time with you today. So let's say hello to everybody out there. And you know what? I got to thinking there's different ways of saying hello. So we're going to do it a little bit different today. And if you come up with another idea, do that part of the song your way at your house, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's start off with just say, sing the hello part. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? Now, what's the part you're going to do? I'm going to do nod my head. Hello, everybody. Nod your head. Nod your head. Nod your head. Hello, everybody. Nod your head. Nod your head with me. What's another way you can say hello? Do you ever wink your eyes at somebody? Let's wink our eyes. Hello, everybody. Wink your eye. Wink your eye, wink your eye. Hello, everybody. Wink your eye, wink your eye with me. Ah, thanks for doing that with me. Hey, boys and girls, I've got to tell you about our week at our house. And we had an extraordinary week. It means different, not ordinary. So it all started out by our neighbor was driving home down the street, and she saw a turtle in the street. And she saw my husband outside, and she said, you know, Mike, can you go down the street and get, there's a turtle in the street. I'm so afraid somebody's going to run over it. I think he's looking for his home. So my husband, being an animal lover, sure, went down the street, picked up the turtle, and put the turtle back in his home. Probably got, was looking for his mom somewhere and couldn't find her, so he went out and looked for her. Well, then a couple days later, I'm out getting my mail, and my neighbor across the street said, Jenny, look at this little dog. Is he familiar to you? Does, does he live around here? And I said, I have no idea. Does he have a name tag? And she said, I don't know. I'm afraid to get too close. Maybe he'll bite. And I said, oh, let me see. I said, he looks pretty friendly. So I did carefully go up to the doggy, and he had a collar on. Actually, it was a girl, and she had a name tag and also had the phone number of her owners. So my neighbor called, and the owners came and picked her up. She must have been out looking for her mom, too, which reminded me of a story that I've read to you in story time before. So I decided I would tell it to you. And the name of this story is, thinking of these animals, A Mother for Choco. And this story is based on the story by Kiko Kaza. And it all starts off with a little yellow bird. This little yellow bird lived by himself, and he didn't have a mommy. And he decided one day he was going to go out and look for his mommy. Probably much like the turtle and the dog he did the other day. Well, as he was out walking, he saw a big yellow giraffe. <gasps> hey, I'm yellow. That, she's yellow. I'm going to go ask Mrs. Giraffe if she's my mommy. So, Keiko... Kotoko went over to the yellow giraffe and said, Are you? You're my mommy. You are yellow just like me. And Mrs. Giraffe said, I'm sorry. I'm not your mommy. You see, I don't have wings like you. Oh, okay, said Choco. Well, Choco didn't give up. Choco kept looking until he saw a... at Choco and she said, oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have nice round cheeks like you. I couldn't be your mommy. So Mrs. Penguin went on her way and Choco said, okay. Well, Choco kept looking. He did not give up until he came to Mrs. Walrus. Oh, he looked at Mrs. Walrus and look at she has big round cheeks like him. Penguin thought, she must be my mommy. I'm going to go ask her. Mrs. Walrus, you have round chubby cheeks just like me. I bet you're my mommy. Mrs. Walrus is kind of grumpy. She said, look here. I can't be your mommy. I don't have striped feet like you or legs. 
Get off with you. Don't bother me. I'm not your mommy. <gasps> well, she hurt Choco's feelings. That wasn't very nice. Choco's starting to cry. Oh, I want a mommy. Where's my mommy? Well, just then, Mrs. Bear was out picking apples, and she heard Choco cry. So she went over to Choco, and she said, What's wrong? Choco said, I don't have a mommy. Mrs. Bear said, Hmm, if you had a mommy, what would she do? Choco thought, I think she hugged me. So Mrs. Bear gave Choco a hug. Like this? Choco said, Mm hmm. And then she said, Choco, what else would your mommy do? Choco thought and said, oh, I think she kissed me. Mrs. Bear gave him a big kiss on top of the head like, like this. Mwah! Choco said, mm hmm. Then Mrs. Bear said, Choco, if you had a mommy, what else would she do? Choco thought, hmm. Oh! <gasps> She danced with me. Oh, with that, Mrs. Bear took his, her Choco's little wings and she twirled him and she danced with him and she sang with him. Oh, she got Choco where he was laughing. <laughs> Choco was having so much fun with her. Mrs. Bear said to Choco, Choco, I got to thinking, maybe I could be your mommy. Choco said, but you, you can't be my mommy. Well, why not, said Mrs. Bear. Well, Choco stood back and looked at Mrs. Bear and said, well, because first of all, you don't have wings like me. Okay, said Mrs. Bear, I don't have wings. And you don't have round cheeks like me. No, you're right. I don't have round cheeks like you. And you don't have striped legs like me. Okay, yeah, I don't have striped legs like you. But now, Choco, think a minute. If I had wings like you, if I had round cheeks like you, and striped legs like you, now, look at me. Wouldn't I look rather funny? Oh, Choco started to laugh. <laughs> just the way you are. And Mrs. Bear said, well, thank you, Choco. Well, Choco, tell you what, I picked all these apples and I'm going to go home and make an apple pie for my family. Why don't you come home and meet my family and have some apple pie with us and then think about it. Maybe, maybe I could be your mommy. Okay, said Choco. So Mrs. Bear took little Choco's wing and Choco took Mrs. Bear's paw, and they walked home together to Mrs. Bear's house. Well, when Mrs. Bear got home, her children all ran outside to greet her. And Mrs. Bear said, Choco, I want you to meet my family. This is Piggy. This is Allie. And this is Hippie. Choco said, you? And Mrs. Bear said, well, they don't look like me, but they're still my children and I still love them. Choco thought, hmm. She said, you know what, Choco? I'm going to go out inside and make that pie for you all. And Allie and Piggy and Hippie said, Choco, play with us while Mom makes our pie. Choco said, okay. So Mrs. Bear went inside and made apple pie. Well, it wasn't long. She said, hey, kids, come on in. It's time. The pie's all ready to eat. So they all sat down together and had apple pie. They told stories. They laughed. They had a great time. And then Choco said, Mrs. Bear, you can be my mommy. And that's the end of a mother for Choco. Boys and girls, do you know why I like this story so much? It's because, well, you know the old saying, you can't judge a book by a cover? You can't judge anybody by how they look. 
We all look different, we're all different colors, but you know what? Just because someone looks different from us doesn't mean we can't like them, doesn't mean we can get, can't get to know them. You know, when Choco went up to Mrs. Giraffe, because Choco didn't look like her, she wasn't really willing to get to know him. And neither was Mrs. Penguin, and then Mrs. Walrus. Well, we know about her. She was pretty mean, wasn't she? She didn't even want to talk to him. Well, Mrs. Bear asked questions. She got to know Choco. And that's how she learned all about Choco and learned that, you know what? She liked Choco. She liked Choco for who he was, not what he looked like. And I think that's a great story that we can take away from that. We might meet somebody and say we can't be friends with them because they look different from us, but it doesn't matter. We can still be friends with them. Well, boys and girls, thanks for listening to one of my favorite stories. I love that story because it has such a happy ending. But also, I want to talk to you. Remember last week we talked about taking the first letter of your name and going on a hunt in a book, a scavenger hunt, and trying to find all those letters? And I got to thinking, you know, the first step to learning letters are learning your shapes. And there's fun ways to do that. So let's play a game. We're going to go on a hunt through your house, but we're going to sing a song first. So take your hands and go like this. And we're going to sing a song together. And we're going to go on a shape hunt. I'm looking for some shapes, some shapes, some shapes. I'm looking for some shapes around my house. Okay, what shape is this? It's a circle, isn't it? Okay, so go with. I'm looking for circles, circles, circles. I'm looking for circles around my house. Okay, so this is actually a piece of soap that I found in my house. And you know what? Here's another circle I found in my house. You know what this is? This is a top to a candle in my house. Okay, let's sing it again. Let's turn it I'm looking for some shapes, some shapes, some shapes. I'm looking for some shapes around my house. What shape is this? It's a square, isn't it? Okay, let's sing. I'm looking for some squares, some squares, some squares. I'm looking for some squares around my house. This, boys and girls, is actually a coaster from my house. I bet you might have some of these around your house. This is a box of Kleenex. And if you go this way, it's a what shape? It matches this shape. It's a square, right? All right. Okay, we're going to try one more. I'm looking for some shapes, some shapes, some shapes. I'm looking for some shapes around my house. <gasps> what shape is this? It's a rectangle, isn't it? four sides, but they're not all equal. These two sides are longer than these two sides. Okay. I'm looking for rectangles, rectangles, rectangles. I'm looking for rectangles around my house. <gasps> What's this? It's my phone, isn't it? And it's the shape of rectangle. Okay. Boys and girls, I had a great time with you in story time today, but it's that time to ready Wave high, wave low. I think it's time we've got to go. Wiggle your fingers and wink those eyes and blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day and have fun in your scavenger hunts with shapes. <laughs>